Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen Lynch, President of Confederation College. Since returning to the college community in September of 2018, I've had the distinct pleasure of refamiliarizing myself with our students, alumni, employees, and community partners. I've been reminded that the Confederation story isn't just ours. It's an epic tale made up of thousands of unique stories from people of all walks of life. We are proud to have made significant progress on the important goals outlined in our strategic plan. These successes are worth celebrating, so join me as I share the story of Confederation College through my eyes. Wichita Kawin is an Anishinaabe word that describes the process of helping or assisting others. This is what Confederation College stands for and why we use this word to frame our strategic plan. The first way in which we help others is to focus on supporting access and success for our students. We attract, support and graduate a diverse range of learners while placing an emphasis on Indigenous learning. We have almost 7,000 learners at Confederation College and last year we're proud to reach a record high for full-time post-secondary students. The diversity on campus continues to grow. We have 777 learners who self-identify as Indigenous though we know, in fact, one-third of our student body is Indigenous. We also have over 1,300 international learners from 24 countries. Here's what one of our international alumni has to say about his Confederation College experience. I'm Vignesh Vishwanathan. I'm the Student Association President. I'm from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. It's uh, down south in India. So I came in fall 2016. Um, I came for my dental care and administration program. Uh, the first year was dental assisting and the second year was leadership for healthcare professional. I graduated last year. When I came here, the services that were provided, it, I could see a drastic increase in the services at the college. Also in the community as well, trying to adapt to the population of international students. I 100% believe that Confederation uh, does everything in the potential to help the student go through different workshops, different trainings, uh, provides the services where they have the opportunity to um, improve their communication. And even if, if the student is feeling homesick, they have the services and all those kind of things where you can go and connect with the um, counseling department, student success department. Um, the teachers are available over the email um, and even the classes, like they have an open door policy if you want to, like if you go and connect with them. Um, those are all important because you get individual attention as a student and it's an attention that's needed. I believe it's the passion uh, to help the students represent the students. At the same time, give back to the college uh, something that I've got in turn. So all these kind of things motivated me or encouraged me kind of to apply for the president's role as the first time I got uh, elected as the first international student president. My opinions are being valued, my, uh, my, my feedbacks are being valued, and um, it's a wonderful community for me to work around. All the people I work with at the Suki and all the people I connect on a daily basis at the college, um, everyone is amazing. I cannot ask more. Um, and it fills my passion too, and connecting with all the students as well. Something I, I never dreamt of, and I never thought was in the portfolio, but up here I am. Our impact spans across Northwestern Ontario and beyond, with 31% of post-secondary learners accessing program through regional and distance education. Our technology-enabled learning model allows students to learn in ways that best suit their needs, no matter where they are. A perfect example is human resources student Sherry Woodcock. When I got into it, I realized just how much I love the program, distance education, and Confederation College. It's a lot of freedom and flexibility that I never knew I needed. To feel like I'm part of the college, even though I'm in Waterloo, is very cool. With more than 600 learners studying at our eight regional campuses, we help students learn where they live. Student and alumni Melvina Sandy deeply values the opportunities she's had to learn in her home community of Kenora. I didn't have to leave home to go to college. I could stay here where I have the support of my family. I'm a single parent, so that's important. The technology is quite easy and the flexibility makes all the difference. 
We know the importance of helping to prepare learners for post-secondary education even before they join us on campus. An innovative pathway has been Confederation Bound, an early acceptance program for grade 11 students who may require extra motivation or support to continue their studies after high school. We are proud to have helped 108 students enroll in post-secondary programs to put their dreams to work since Confederation Bound was introduced in 2014. Another important pathway for students is our School College Work Initiative. This year, 17% of our apprenticeship learners have gone through SCWI, earning a dual credit and getting a jump start on their education. Seeing our students succeed is the ultimate reward for the many ways in which we support them through their educational journey. That is why we're particularly pleased to witness an amazing 87% of our graduates secure employment within six months of graduation. We would not be able to support our students without help from many compassionate people and partners, which is why our commitment to community prosperity is so critical. We have more than 850 dedicated full and part-time employees, each changing lives through learning every day. We work to foster social and economic development in Northwestern Ontario and beyond, with one out of 14 jobs being associated with the activities at Confederation College. Last year, we provided training to 67 organizations and hundreds of learners. Our partners are too numerous to mention in full, but some examples from this past year include Supercom, Skills Advance Ontario's Forestry Consortium, Lakehead University in Menno Yawin, Fort William First Nation, Oshki Pamashawin, and Anishinaabek Employment and Training Services. To promote a thriving economy now and for the future, we have connected almost a thousand students to entrepreneurship activities on campus this year. We were also excited to introduce a new experiential entrepreneurship course in partnership with the Northwestern Ontario Innovation Centre and RBC Future Launch Program. This is just one of the many ways the College and the Innovation Centre work together. Judy Sander explains more. Judy Sander, I'm the manager at the Northwestern Ontario Innovation Centre. Being located on campus, it just sort of accelerated that involvement. We've been involved with the PI, the Partnerships in Innovation and Entrepreneurship Program, which has been sort of spurring entrepreneurship on campus. And um, I think just always recognizing that uh, the faculty and students here are sort of a source of innovation and a source of entrepreneurs. So it's been one of our key feeder systems as far as when we look at how do we fill a funnel, we look at where are the sources of innovators and where is the sources of entrepreneurs and the college is a great source of both. Our involvement with the RBC uh, Futurepreneur uh, application and involvement with entrepreneurship classes, etc going out and touching base with uh, other classes. We did a, um, a session with the manufacturing students on entrepreneurship and innovation. So it's many touch points, but I think the, um, the willingness to partner is just increased over time where we see that it's not siloed at all. It's sort of a whole partnership around that initiative to grow, um, grow that innovation space. I've been involved in economic development on for a long time in, in Northwestern Ontario. And I think the bright spot is these partnerships like what we have with the college. We just got started with the Tech Hub and students can get involved in industry projects using the equipment and, and we can bring those innovative companies and connect the dots. So um, tons of potential as this thing grows out. These partnerships and activities successfully prepare our learners to meet the needs of our industries and communities and are a key component to achieving a 93% employer satisfaction rate. $634.4 million are added to Northwestern Ontario's economy by Confederation College and its students, with $3 million directly tied to our international students and $1.3 million directly tied to our Indigenous students. With an eye for continued success, we strive for institutional excellence to earn recognition as a progressive organization. To ensure we remain prepared to support the evolution of learning, we have invested in upgrading our facilities in Thunder Bay and the region. We celebrated the opening of the Technology, Education and Collaboration Hub in the fall of 2018. 
The Tech Hub is contributing to the development of a skilled, employment-ready technology workforce for Northwestern Ontario. To ensure the students of the Tech Hub are provided with leading-edge equipment and enhanced learning capacity, Confederation College is currently engaged in a capital campaign. Last year, we passed the halfway mark of the campaign, reaching $1.13 million of our $2 million private contribution goal. The campus in Sioux Lookout was relocated into the new high school with a wing for the college to provide post-secondary programs. Students will benefit from this new space starting in the fall of 2019. We have nearly completed the reconstruction of our Atacokan Nikina Drive Bridge after more than 50 years of extensive use. As part of our ongoing commitment to environmental sustainability, Confederation College is thrilled to have secured funding to support an investment in high efficiency water heaters, solar panels and battery energy storage, along with modifications to achieve biomass optimization and building automation. As a result of these energy retrofit projects in Thunder Bay and Kenora, Confederation expects to save approximately 624,000 cubic meters of natural gas and up to $150,000 annually. Aspiring to Indigenous leadership remains a pillar of our Confederation College DNA. We are proud to have made significant progress in this area this year. We are currently working on the implementation of the recommendations received from our college-wide systemic racism review. We also continue our commitment to the Anti-Racism and Inclusion Coalition in Thunder Bay, which we joined at the Coalition's inception in June 2018. We recently introduced the Nagonawin Education Strategy, focused on providing employees at Confederation College with ample opportunities for personal and professional growth. A central element of the new strategy is the Four Seasons to Reconciliation training, which all employees will complete to ensure we have a common foundation of understanding surrounding Indigenous knowledge, cultures and reconciliation. We opened a smudging room in March 2019, signalling to both Indigenous and non-Indigenous members of our college community that they are welcome and encouraged to learn about and take part in smudging and other ceremonies in this dedicated space. The Centre for Policy and Research in Indigenous Learning celebrated five years of collaborative and leading-edge work. CEPRO continues to forward a vision of Indigenous education where Indigenous knowledge, practices and principles are respectfully shared with all learners. A final highlight I'd like to share surrounds the College's first Indigenous graduation celebration and feast, hosted in April to honour the accomplishments of our Indigenous learners. There's nothing more rewarding than seeing our students achieve their educational dreams. One such student is Mariah Wigwas, who offers her reflections about her time at Confederation. My name is Mariah Wigwas and I am a graduating student from the Social Service Worker Program as well as graduating with the Aboriginal Canadian Relations Certificate. There's been a lot of trauma that I've experienced and I wouldn't be able to overcome those, those struggles or uh, barriers if it wasn't for the supports from my um, instructors, my coordinators, and the life navigators at the APUN. They were very supportive. After my brother passing away, there was a lot of supports that Confederation College gave me. And I was able to like finally say, I want to do, I want to be a social worker. This is what I want to do. What I liked is the learning part. Uh, you learn about yourself at the beginning. They really push you. The instructors and coordinator really push you to, to like do a self inventory. And then from there, you're able to learn, um, continue to learn about, about yourself, but learn about like other people and how, how your place as a social service worker is in working with those people. Being here for four years, I have seen such an influx of student, Indigenous students and it's just been very grounding and you see the powwows, you see the drums, you see ceremony within the college which makes it um, a better place for Indigenous people. Having the first Indigenous graduation, uh, it was amazing being a part of that planning, highlighting the success of Indigenous graduates um, together in ceremony. 
was was very special. I really hold close to my to my heart, my experience at Confederation College because it's made me who I am right now and who I'm about to be and who I'm about to become. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just really excited. As you can see, we have much to celebrate. On behalf of Confederation College, I would like to thank students, alumni, employees, and our community partners for your ongoing engagement and support. You each play an important role in our success. Of course, our Confederation College story continues. We look forward to writing many new and exciting chapters with you as we continue to change lives through learning.